the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 297, Luke 3 to 4. Hand this on each person. After Jesus was baptized, he fasted in the wilderness for 40 days and prepared his ministry of salvation for humankind by overcoming the temptation of Satan. First point. Luke introduced John the Baptist like a true historian. All four Gospels recorded the story of John the Baptist. Luke recorded John like a true historian. Luke described those who were ruling the land of Judea, under the rule of the Roman Empire at the time. During the times of John the Baptist, the rulers were as follows. First, the emperor was Tiberius, who was the second emperor following from Augustus Caesar. Second, Pontius Pilate was the governor. Third, Herod was Tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, Tetrarch of Ituria and Traconitis, and Lysanias, Tetrarch of Avelin. Fourth, the high priestess of the temple were Annas and Caiaphas, the son-in-law of Annas. John the Baptist was the last prophet ever to be after the 400-year silence since prophet Malachi. During this time, the people received the baptism from John and asked him what they were to do. John told them to repent and also to give their robes to someone else, if they owned to, to share food with others, for tax collectors to not over-collect tax, and soldiers to not make false accusations. As such, John prepared for the way of the Messiah. Jesus came to John to be baptized by him. Second point, Luke, who was a Greek historian, recorded Jesus' genealogy after thoroughly studying the history of Israel. Luke, the historian, thoroughly studied the records in Chronicles before recording Jesus' genealogy. Luke's genealogy is slightly different to that of Matthew's. Matthew records Jesus starting from Abraham and emphasized that Jesus was the Messiah, as predicted in the Old Testament. As for Luke, he went from Jesus, Joseph, David, Abraham, Noah, Adam, and then God. In other words, Luke went all the way to God the Creator in recording Jesus. Matthew wrote for the Jews, and Luke wrote in order to reveal that Jesus was the Messiah of the world. Thus, Luke's record traced all the way back to Adam in order to stress that all humans needed the salvation of Jesus Christ. Luke, as such, thoroughly studied the records in Chronicles in order to record the most accurate genealogy of Jesus Christ. Third point, God tested people to see their hearts and then granted them with great love. Before starting his public life, Jesus went to the desert and fasted for 40 days as he prayed. It was after this that Satan came to test Jesus. Luke tells us that Jesus defeated Satan and that was that. The reason God tested his people in the Bible was in order to grant them more love and blessing. To look into three cases of tests God gave, First was Abraham. We all know that Abraham passed with flying colors. The second was the manna generation. Moses told them that God did not always send them manna, and this was in order to test them. The third was Job. Job who passed the Satan's test brought joy to God. As such, God at times tests his people in order to grant them bigger blessings. First point, Luke recorded that Jesus' teaching began with the Spirit of God and was predicted by the prophet Isaiah. 
To summarize, Jesus is public life. He held, taught, fed, prayed, and forgave sinners. Luke started Jesus' teaching in the synagogue of Galilee. The synagogue was used after the Jerusalem temple was burned down by the Babylonian soldiers and was used during the years leading up to building the temple. The synagogue then became the core of the Jewish society throughout the Persian, Hellenistic, and Roman empires. Everywhere the Jews lived, they established a synagogue to be used for worship, education, and also legal purposes. Jesus taught a great deal in the synagogues, and later, St. Paul also used them for the purpose of spreading the gospel. Luke records the time Jesus read the Bible in the synagogue in Nazareth during his youth. It appears that Jesus requested for the Bible to be read during worship. Jesus read the book of Isaiah, and this was in the power of the Spirit. The part Jesus found was Isaiah chapter 61. As such, Jesus started his teaching with what was written in the Old Testament. Fifth point, until sunset at Capernaum, Jesus spent all his time healing the sick with his hands. After Jesus started his public life, he read the scriptures of Isaiah in the Nazareth synagogue. But there was also an instant whereby he was excluded from Nazareth. Jesus referred to the passages associated with Elijah and Elisha. Firstly, during the three and a half years into the famine, Elijah was not welcomed into Israel and therefore went to a foreign land where he was welcomed by a widow. Second, there were many patients with leprosy during the days of Elisha, but the only one to be healed was a foreign person. When Jesus taught this, he was excluded from Nazareth. The people were not interested in hearing about Jesus' opinions and therefore excluded him. Jesus then went to Capernaum to teach, and while there, he also warded off demons. Jesus spent all the hours up to sunrise healing patients with his own hands. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 